check the temperature, very safe. Yeah, I'm in. Here we go, New World Mall Food Court, Flushing, New York Chinatown. Check it out. This food court represents a whole mix of Chinese uh, delicacies uh, from pulled noodles, dumplings, uh, Xinjiang Uyghur food, uh, Dongbei, uh, Sichuan, spicy. It's got it all. Uh, there's tea, there's um, all sorts of things. Uh, there's also uh, fried dumplings, steamed dumplings. Um, it's actually looking fairly alive considering the recent pandemic. A lot of the storefronts are covered with plastic, of course, and signs making sure that customers are taking the correct per precautions. Um, I'm looking forward to the lamb skewers uh, from the Tarim Uyghur Cuisine stall. Hey, hi, hi. Hey. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sitting down to try the Tarim Uyghur cuisine, uh, Yang Ro or lamb skewers. Um, they used to let you uh, eat them straight off the skewer. They would give them to you and you could eat them right here in the food court, but with the pandemic you um, they make them they put they make you put it on a plate. So I'll give you a little sneak peek into that. Uh, there's the lamb. Oh we did it, we did it. Of course got spicy. I think there's some cumin in there as well. And uh, if you're not familiar with Xinjiang food or Uyghur cuisine. Uh, as they call it here at Tarim. Um, it represents the northwestern region of China, uh, the Xinjiang Autonomous Region. And so the food is like its own genre outside of what most people think of Chinese food. Um, although they do have noodles, uh, they do have rice, but it's much more in a Central Asian flair. Uh, so you're talking about like, uh, like plov style rice, uh, and then um, a lot of like the samsas, like, like the uh, pockets of meat, the dough pockets of meat. So there's kind of like this continuation from uh, north, northwestern China all the way across Asia, even into Europe. They, they similar to the dumplings, like the pierogies of Poland. Um, there's there's some transfer there. There's a lot of use of lamb in the Uyghur cuisine. Uh, as well as chicken, uh, big plate chicken, da panji is, a, is one of the big main uh, entrees as a part of Xinjiang cuisine. Um, here goes the first bite. Mm. 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 Good fat, good spice. Mm. Just from like the um, first like impression of the lamb skewers, you can tell that they use coal to uh, barbecue the meat. So there's that smell or that mesquite coal flavor in there, um, which is nice. It's like very reminiscent of eating in Xinjiang. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That was one of those pieces that's like half fat, half meat, and so you get the so like the consistency, like the, the the contrast of like squishy fat and then the chewy meat, and then when they come together, it just kind of ooh, mm, perfect bite, the perfect bite.
If you see some flashes going off, there's um, actually a photo shoot for the food that they're serving up here. I saw the little pockets that they um, make here. I think they're called Sam Sam. And uh, I've had them before in China. They usually have um, minced lamb and maybe some little bits of uh, veggie in there. Uh, it's kind of like a samosa, samsa, samosa. Maybe there's a connection there. Mm. I feel like Mark Wien's in here, just like, mm. just kind of, yeah, one of those. Well, this is a very tender piece. Mm. Very good. And this is the difference between like Xinjiang skewers, they have these big, needy pieces. Whereas in a lot of places in the um, in mainland, the I would say that the meat is about maybe half this thick. But with the Xinjiang skewers, you get full pieces of lamb. They're much bigger chunks, much fuller bites of of meat. I don't eat lamb very often, but um, this is a way to do it, in my opinion. A heads up, um, each skewer or chuar is uh, 250, but they make you do a minimum of four, so this all together was uh, $10. Plus a little tip. It's good stuff. I love it. I'm, I can't believe I've almost finished this whole plate of meat. Here goes the last piece. Mm. Yeah. So good. I'll be back. Here we go. New World Mall Food Court, Flushing, Chinatown. Here we go. Flushing, New York, Chinatown. Here we go, Flushing, New York, Chinatown. Hello.